morning everybody and welcome back to another fossil hunting video on the Yorkshire coast. Come out to Runswick Bay today for an early morning fossil hunt. As I'm walking around I've already seen a head torch all the way over there towards the Kettle Nest Nab. I'll have a look over there on the way back but first I'm just going to have a quick look to this side to see if there's any nodules knocking about. This side around here does tend to get collected quite frequently but it's always worth having a look because the dacks what come from here are really good quality they're nice and soft and easy to prep or they also pop with a hammer quite well a lot of the time last few times i've looked here i've not found that much at this first bit but i'm gonna have a look just in case there's been a little fresh fall overnight so there's nothing there just yet but that's okay it only takes one cliff fall to make it worthwhile last year i dropped on really lucky and i got a little fresh fall at that little section there and there were quite a few dacks it's at that stage now where the sun has come up you can see but it's still just a little bit dark to be able to see any nodules but i'm going to make my way a little bit further around and then we'll head towards that kettle nest side over there. There we go, we've got our first find of the day. The middle of a Dactylioceros. Quite a chunky example that one. Looks like it'll pop really well with the hammer and it's all in there. Well, there's not much of anything to this side, which is a shame, but it was worth checking. I was here last week and did pretty well. Got a reasonably small bag full of nodules, but it just shows how it changes. Now there's nothing here. It does get picked over quite frequently, so you just need to look for them new cliff falls. I was out fossil collecting yesterday and my dad made a really cool marine reptile ichthyosaur find. I'll make sure to show that at the end of the video, so stick around. Always interesting to look at these wave cut rock platforms, naturally carved out by the tide. <laughs> so just making my way by the old landslide now with all the jet rock and the grey shales. This fall is getting really washed out now, there's not much of it left, there is a big need for a new cliff fall at this section of the beach. Hopefully it comes soon and replenishes all the fossils. Remember everyone, if you'd like to purchase your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please take a look at my website called buyafossil.com. We've got a bunch of beautiful prepared fossils and also unopened nodules and children's boxes. If you are into prepping, we do prep boxes as well. Please take a look if you are interested. We ship to most countries. Thanks. Having said that, I did just find this one here with a crushed grey shale tenucostatum inside. Hopefully it splits open well. So that's an interesting looking nodule, but it looks a little bit on the more long side than the rounded side that you want to be looking for these tenucostatums in. So I'm going to give it a tap just to get it out of the shale, first of all. And then we'll have a look around it to see if there's any keels sticking out. Nope. So I'm going to crack it off camera and I'll let you know. I'm guessing there'll be a fragma cone inside. So I've chipped that down to the point where I'm pretty certain there's nothing in there. So I'll leave that. A lot of new collectors like to collect these. If you do pick one up, always make sure you secure the back and the side, maybe using a bit of loose super glue or paraloid. Very watery you need to use because it delaminates as it dries out and cracks into pieces. Well, there's an awful lot of fallen shale which has crashed down from up in the cliffs. There's no nodules around it that I can see on the surface, but if you look at where it's actually come from in there, you might be able to see there is literally a nodule in the very middle. 
So waiting for that bit to come down, but might be a few years yet. I'm pretty sure that this is the jet rock, so most likely cannonballs, if anything. And they don't always have a great success rate of finds inside the nodules. So I've just bumped into Colin behind me there. Colin's been working on a big bone block from around this way. It's got some nice ichthyosaur teeth in it, but I think he said he's put nearly 300 hours into it. So here's a boy from a ship. I did actually look up this one a few week ago because it has been on the beach for a while. And I think it was either from Scarborough or Bridlington where the boat was from. Can't remember off the top of my head though. So that looks like a bit of jet, but really low quality stuff. You can see quite a few cracks and stuff already developing. So I'm gonna leave this on the beach. It's naturally polished though by the sea and looks really good. So I've met up with my dad, who is doing a little bit of rock chipping over there. So I just found this cannonball here. I actually just dropped it down and then I was gonna chip it open, but me dropping it actually cracked it open. And there's nothing inside it. When I came here last week, I actually found something really cool, a beautiful harposterus. I'll show you that now. So I've just caught up with my dad and he's found a few nice little splitters. Even on this bit, there's not that much. So we're cracking open a few of the more worn calcite ones to see if we get good middles from them. That's a little nodule type one. But I think he's split these ones open. Little pseudo. Nice little dark. Another dark. That's a, a worn nodule. And then there's two more here. Really nice middle on that pinpoint. So yeah, he's done better than me. I've not found much at all. I'm gonna give this tenny nodule a little tap and we'll see what's inside it. I'm suspecting it won't break up and well because it doesn't look great in the middle, but let's give it a go. It's not worth taking back home. That crack looks really good. Let's find out how it split open. Oh, wow. A lot better than I thought. So yeah, judging by the nodule it was in, I really wasn't expecting such a nice ammonite. Well, I've just found another nice one. It's a Dactyliosteus tenucostatum nodule. It's been in the sea for a bit, but that should be a little beauty. Just needs that little outer world there taking off. And that'll be a really nice example. Like, it looks like it'll literally pop. So my dad's found this nodule here. Nothing showing, but it's worth a tap. Let's hope for a nice ammonite in it. Peak. Oh no, beautiful fat semi, I think that is. Very nice one. A very nice find to end off the fossil hunt. A lovely Dactyliosaurus semisolatum. Quite a chunky one.
Well, that's today's fossil hunt nearly over. I'm just steadily making my way back. Now let's go ahead and look at that really cool find my dad picked up yesterday. Hi everyone, hope you've all enjoyed today's fossil hunting video. I'm going to show you a really cool find my dad collected yesterday. I'd done really well, I'd found quite a few nodules at this particular beach, but I don't think he'd found very much until he shouted me over and he told me he's found the find of the day, and it really was. Here's his very special find. There's four ichthyosaur vertebrae in total. Two of them are a little bit worn on the ends but the two middle ones are in great condition and it's also got its neural arches attached at the top layer it looks like there might have been even a few more knocking around at some point maybe they're rolling around on the beach in the shingle like this one was or they're in other people's fossil collections i've not seen anything online though but you just never know what people are picking up i'm really happy my dad found this lovely collection piece here quite decent sized vertebra. I think I'll have a go myself at aerobraiding them. It looks like there's a layer of shale on the top. So I don't think it'll be too hard to make them a little bit more pronounced. Overall, a very nice find. I think it's his find of the year. Hopefully you've all enjoyed this fossil hunting video and I'll see you all on the next one. Hi everyone, so I'm going to add this little bit onto the video that I've already filmed this morning. We went back to the same location and I had a little bit of luck myself and I found what looks like a matching part of the ichthyosaur. As you can see, it's literally a perfect fit. It attaches on perfectly. We know we've got a perfect match because you can see there's absolutely no pieces of pyrite missing in that little cluster there at the top. I'm absolutely over the moon, especially because we went somewhere else to another beach yesterday, and I'm sure there will be plenty of people out looking, but I just happened to have some luck on my side. All what's left to do now is for me to glue it back together and then I'll have a go at preparing it. Hopefully you've all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all on the next one. 